Fame Lab Academy is part of Cheltenham Festival's year-round uh, activity. It is linked specifically to the Science Festival and it has the potential to revolutionise science communication in this country. It's brilliant because it takes the kind of the passion that we see in the normal Fame Lab and gets school kids to really engage with science in that way. The set of schools where students are going to compete to see who can give the most engaging three minute talk. And then out of those students, there'll be some finalists who'll come together for a kind of grand epic show off of science communication. Fame Lab Academy blows open the walls of the classroom. Instead of starting with the curriculum, it starts with the student. They decide what to research and what to talk about. So at Churchdown, Fame Lab Academy has really enabled a lot of the kids to kind of get involved and boost their confidence, but also it's been on a wide range of subjects. You know, they've picked the subject and also it's brought in their English and their kind of drama and their confidence building in that kind of sense as well. Through the specially designed workshops that the teachers lead, students are given the tools to communicate and as a result their confidence soars. I chose to speak about optical illusions. I'm going to be speaking about the history of space travel. And I'm talking about morphine um, because my mum's allergic to it and I wanted to find out what it does to your brain. In first place, £75 and mask class, etc, etc, goes to Sophia Wagen. Well, this morning we're mainly working on our social skills and our communication, but right now we are working on a machine. Once they're linked all together, they should, in a really complicated way, come round to allow a hammer to smash an egg. Three, two, one! Fame Lab is a fantastic thing to be part of. It's great for the imagination, it's great to see so many young people inspired to take part in Fame Lab. Um, science and engineering is fundamental to our everyday life. Through the links with industry and the British Science Association Crest Award scheme, it makes it relevant to real life and their futures. Supporting education is really important to EDF Energy and the opportunity to be part of. Cheltenham Science Festival is an important part of us reaching out into the wider community. So let me introduce to you our first speaker, Emma. So please give her a huge round of applause. Here's Emma. To understand the complicated science of the stub toe, we must first master the subject of pain. Scientists predict within the next 100 years, temperatures could rise between anything between 1.4 degrees to 5.8 degrees. Triangles. We see them everywhere, from bridges to buildings to our own body. But what is it about this three-sided shape that makes it so useful? Aphids suck. They suck for most of their lives, making them one of uh, agriculture's most challenging pests. This is really hard to have one person winning this because you really all did a brilliant job. I really enjoyed this afternoon. This winner turned science into a performance and really excelled and what an opener if it suck well done <laughs> come on up <laughs> some of my best bits of fame lab academy was w winning obviously and then there was also going doing the work experience down at Rennes Shaw that was really good to go and see a big business. I've learned a lot about science communication because before I kind of I knew the science behind it but I wasn't very good at presenting it to other people and getting my message across. I really thank Fame Public Academy. Really good. 